Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back to Mama Sanity. Today is Friday, TGIF, and I hope that everyone out there has had a much better week than I have. I've been kind of really sick all week. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to my husband. Thank you so much, honey, for coming home yesterday and taking over with the kids and cooking dinner all week. Um, and letting me get many hours of sleep yesterday. Um, that's just what my body needed. I'm not 100%, but I feel so much better. Thank you for doing that. Which leads me to my next point. How come is it that we never take our own advice? So we could shell out advice all day long, right? But if we're ever in the same situation, don't you find it funny that if you're in the same situation that you would give advice to a friend, you don't take your own advice? For instance, okay, my four kids. Three of them go to school, somebody always comes home sick, and then it kind of domino effect, we all get sick, right? Well, we have this place on the sick couch in our living room, so that's kind of like their little quarantine area. We set up like a little table, and it has, you know, like colors and stuff for them to do, and, and you know, their tissues, and just everything that they need while they're sick, and blanket. And then, you know, I go back and forth between laying with them and laying with the others and everything, so that's probably how everybody gets sick. But, <clears throat> The moment that the, my kids start to feel just a little tiny bit better, whether it's the medicine kicking in or whatever, they took a nap, they wake up, and they're like, oh, mom, I'm ready to play. Can I go play? Can I go do this? Can I go outside? I feel better. No, I know you feel a little bit better now, but trust me, one or two more days of just rest and relaxation, and I promise you'll thank me later, your body will recuperate, and then you'll be much better for it, and you'll be able to play. If you go play now, then all the little energy that you have, you're using it, and then your body is gonna get even more sicker and get sick again. So, having that said, I did not do what I tell my children to do. So, um, the moment I got just a little tiny bit of energy, I decided, well, I've gotta do my chores, right? Because I'm OCD and that's just the way I am. So any little bit of energy that I had this week, I would get up and I would push myself. And sometimes it was in the morning when the kids were getting ready for school. Sometimes it was late at night when everybody's asleep. Um, like yep, two days ago, right before everybody's getting, when everybody was getting ready for school, I was vacuuming it upstairs and downstairs. Okay, um, last night when everybody went to bed, I swept and mopped. The other day I dusted and I cleaned the bathrooms and scrubbed the toilets and you know just why can't we take our own advice so and I think I would have gotten better a whole lot faster had I taken my own advice that I tell my kids if I just would have left the chores to the weekend but like I said my OCDness I just got caught up and I was like oh it's bothering me I've got to get this done so um, my advice to you just rest and recuperate and maybe you won't be sick for a whole week so having that said, um, today I'm going to talk about the scripture is talking about um, how your thoughts um, like that play in your head, they are um, kind of how you act. Your thoughts are your emotions and it, it kind of comes out of you on the outside and that's the way we act and think. And then um, I'm going to got some letters from God um, off of Pinterest and I'm going to read those to you. So let's get started. <clears throat> whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good rapport, think on those things. Your thoughts are a soundtrack of your life. If you, if you don't like what's playing, then change the channel immediately. Focus on the positive aspects of who you are and where you are and what you're doing. Expose any hurtful lies that you keep repeating to yourself and refuse to dwell on the real or imagined shortcomings of others. Reveal in the truth. Um, I, I like that because it's, it's really true. You know, okay, so say you have a fight with your kids or you have a fight with your spouse or your best friend. What do most of us do? We have the fight, we go off away from each other, and we give each other the silent treatment. And we don't want to talk to each other for a while, right? But what do you end up doing? You end up replaying that over that argument over and over and over in your head and you do it all day and all through the night and you toss and you turn and what happens you wake up nothing soft you're even more angrier probably than you were when you first had the fight because you just keep replaying it and oh I should have said this and I should have said that and oh I can't believe they said this you just it's, it's a constant battle right so what this is saying is saying don't do that 
why are we going to sit there and replay a negative track in our mind? All it does is it makes us get angrier, fester up inside of us, and then it makes us harder to forgive that person, or it makes it harder for us to go and apologize when we've done wrong, or it makes it harder for us to wake up as a happier person because you've spent all night getting angry about this record, the negative record playing in your memory. What you should do is, okay, so you have the argument, everything's said and done, you need to cool off. While you're cooling off, why don't you focus on the good moments that you've had with that person or those people or the good qualities about them and replay those in your mind and think about the positivity of that person. That way, when you wake up, you're more likely to say, you know what, I'm really sorry I said some things or I did some things yesterday that I really wasn't proud of and I, I really apologize. Okay, so we made peace. Do you see what I'm saying? So it makes it a lot easier to go to that person and and make things better and make a connection, a positive connection, if you yourself in your mind are why why are you with that person, you know, if it's if it's your spouse or why are you friends with that person if it's your best friends, the good qualities. You know, if it's your, if it's your kids or if it's your family, you know, they're your family, yes, but you love them and there's good qualities about them. And so why don't we focus on that? Um, so, and then today, um, the letter, <clears throat> sorry, the letters that I have from God, um, the first one is a letter to you. And it says, to you that has had a rough week, to the you that seems to be under constant storm clouds, to the you that feels invisible, to the you that doesn't know how much longer you can hold on, to the you that has lost their faith, to the you that always blames yourself for everything that goes wrong, to, to you, you are incredible. You make a, the world a little more wonderful. You have so much potential and so many things left to do. You have time, better things are coming your way. So please hang in there, you can do it. I wanted to share that with y'all because it, God is telling you, even in the times where you feel unloved, know that God, first and foremost, is always there with you and he loves you. And so he's always going to be there. So you're actually never alone. But if you're talking about human, humans and the human you know, contact, I'm sure there is somebody in this world that will love you for you. And you just got to find them. And you just got to be patient. And for, for those that feel invisible or that I'm too ugly or I'm too fat or I'm not smart enough or I can't do that and I'm not, you know, I'm not athletic enough or, you know, God made everybody in his perfect image for his perfect purpose. So, you know, I can't sing, I can't hold a tune to save my life. I've said that before. So I'm not meant to be a singer. That's not my purpose. However, you know, Carrie Underwood, she's, wow, you know, all these other singers, that that's their purpose in life. You've just got to find your purpose in life. And so don't ever let anybody tell you you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not smart enough, or you're not, you know, just, just, in one ear and out the other. You and God together will find your purpose. So don't ever let anyone tell you that you're not good enough. The quote for today, it's kind of a long quote, so bear with me. It's also from God and it says, I've given you an incredible gift and I need you to learn how to use it. Life or death, blessing or curse are in the power of your tongue. That means what you speak, you will see as things manifest in your life according to your language. Get used to decreeing your success. Practice affirming your victory. When you do that, you will open the door for me to come and bless you with solutions and opportunities that you can't even imagine. That's powerful. Like I've said before, you've got to declare your victory. You've got to declare your faith. So you pray for something long and hard, and you've got to know in your heart of hearts, of course, uh, that that's what God wants for you and you may not, in his time you're going to get it in his time not your time I have a whole other thing on being patient which is not my strong suit but um I'll get that to that another day but in his timing you will get it so what this is saying is live your day today in that positive faithful affirmation so instead of waking up today and saying I'm still tired, I'm still sick, you know, I've still got this to do, and th no, I'm gonna wake up and say, I feel better than I did yesterday. The sun is shining outside, maybe this afternoon, I'll spend some time outside with the kids in the sunshine, you know, get some vitamin D in my body. You know, 
it's something you've got to say positive stuff and I've said this before the more positive thinking things that you say the more that you reflect um, things that I will do this or I will achieve that the more likely that you are going to you know like my kids I've said before they always say oh I'm, I'm never going to learn the spelling word I'm never going to be good at this or I'm never going to be able to get that well you're not if that's the attitude that you're going to have. You need to have a positive attitude, okay? All these successful people, they have become successful overnight. They stumbled, they fall, they fell down, you know. They they messed up several times before they actually got it right. And so you just got to, you know, keep going, keep going, and keep going until you get it right. And the way to help you keep going is to think positively and to not think negatively and not say, oh, it's going to be so long until I get our dream house. It's going to be so long before. No, I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on it's going to happen one day, and I can't wait for it to happen. But until it does, I'm going to live happy here and now with what I do have. So you've just got to be happy with what you have and speak success in your life, and you're probably guaranteed to have it. And so the last quote, please, sorry. I know this is long-winded, but bear with me. <clears throat> Message from God. I will give you strength when you think you can't go on. I will give you joy when you feel discouraged. And I will make a way when it is impossible. Again, that's just saying God is there. And without God, you can do nothing. You can tell yourself all day long, oh, I'm going to be a millionaire. Or I'm going to be a ballerina dancer. I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that. But if that's not what God's purpose is for you, it's not going to happen. So you need to search yourself with God and say, God, what is it that what dream do you have for me to accomplish? And then together, y'all can accomplish that dream. So, you know, even simple daily things. Like, I asked God before I did this video. I said, God, anoint me to do this video and give me the strength I need to do this video. Because this morning, I still was kind of, you know, groggy. And I was laying on the couch. And, you know, it was lunchtime. And I was like, I've, I got to get up and get in the shower. And it's Friday. And I'm... I'm going to do this. God, give me strength to do this. Just simple things like that. God will get you through whatever you need to get through. You ask not because you have not. Ask and you shall receive. So if you just do that, think positive, don't think on the negative, and ask God for God's help. God can do anything beyond your wildest dreams. So that's all I have for you today. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And a little quote from Still Not Know Yes, that I like to say, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. So, um, you know, let's just take things that happen to us. Let's just roll with the punches and we learn from our mistakes and we become a stronger person. So I hope you have a great weekend and stay safe.